looking into Primark's ethics and how the business is run and how they can improve. It was founded in 1969 by the Weston family in Dublin, Ireland. They had success as pennies and the company expanded its wings and now today they have over 370 different retail stores across the world. The company has reached successfully because they are selling the top fashion items at a low cost. Primark is a recognised international brand with over 80,000 employees. They are now opening new 16 stores across the UK which will create jobs for 4,600 people. Primark has said that they are using more materials that are recycled and more sustainable. As well as this, they have said they will halve their carbon emissions in all operations across the company. However, critics have come out and said that the company often lacks transparency. Primark's mission statement is to provide customers with high quality fashion basics at a value for money price. Primark's vision statement is that over the years, they have improved their business from a small into a global, into an international organization. Currently, they have over 73,000 employees who work in over 380 stores and the regional head offices across 12 countries in Europe and the US. They are still growing and about to open their 13th market in Poland. Primark's values are taking care of people, being good neighbours and also fostering an ethical business relationship. There has been calls for boycott at Primark after one of their factories in Dhaka collapsed, killing over 350 factory workers who had just turned up to complete their jobs. Applying Carol's Pyramid to Primark. When looking at this, we can look at the philanthropic strategy, which businesses are under a lot of scrutiny for their environmental policies and also the way they plan to save the earth. Therefore, as shown in the picture, since 2019, Primark have removed over 503 million tonnes of single-use plastic. And by the end of 2020, they plan to have churned over 160,000 farmers in the sustainable cotton programme. This shows that Primark are willing to put in the groundwork to ensure that they are an environmental company and are trying to do their bit to save the planet. In order for Primark to improve in this area, I believe they should start by eradicating all animal tested products. This is because some of the cosmetics that they use have been tested on animals. This is unfair because Animals' lives are being wasted, and this is all just for the benefit of the company. Businesses create a profit when they add value to a service or item. In doing this, it benefits all the stakeholders within the company. Like all private limited companies, Primark have one goal, and this is to make a profit. However, due to the recent pandemic and the fact that Primark refused to make an online store or presence. They have recorded a record two billion pound loss in just 16 weeks. This shows the business is clearly underperforming and not reached the expected levels of profit profitability that will benefit their stakeholders. In order for Primark to improve in this area, I believe that Primark should create an online presence with a website. This is because it will allow customers to do their shopping from their home and Primark not to miss out on a potential sale because the customer cannot get to their store. Society has not only sanctioned business, businesses as economic entities, they have also created an established minimum ground rules which businesses are expected to follow to operate and function under. In 2006, Primark signed up to the ETI based code of Labour Practice 
and have been the leaders in this area since 2011. These are standards which are set and businesses should follow to operate ethically. In order for Primark to improve in this area, I believe that they should ensure that they are not only following the rules in this country, however they are also following the rules in countries like Sri Lanka. This is because there is substantial information and evidence to show that they are breaking the law in these country, in countries like this with their factories not being up to standard and not fit for use. Doing this will allow for better lives for their factory workers and run less risk of prosecution. Businesses that are under a lot of pressure to ensure the way they act is, but is ethical. Primark stores stock leather and believe that it's a substantial part of their business and this shows that they are not being ethical because of the way they are treating animals. As well as this, 73 people from Sri Lanka who work in their factories had been interviewed and stated that Primark do not meet the retailer's code of conduct and laws are being breached. However, they have also stated that 11 metric tons of hangers 400 metric tons of plastic and 56,000 metric tons of boxes are either being recycled or beneficially reused. In order for Primark to improve, I believe that they should improve the conditions in their factories. This is because the people who work there are at risk of injury every time they go into work. And this is not an ethical way or humane. As well as this, Improving the conditions could also increase the health and mentality of the workers in order for them to work harder to get more work done. Health and safety. Health and safety is a real issue in Primark factories. This is because in 2013, one of Primark's factories in Dhaka collapsed, killing over 350 people who were just there to do their jobs. I would recommend that Primark take action like Alpro do to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Alpro are a B Corp business and they ensured that they follow extremely strict guidelines in order to ensure that the staff in their factories are safe. Doing this will help the workers feel safe while at work. Ensure efficient use is made of inputs, energy, renewables, water and materials. Having efficient use of materials and packaging is very important for Primark to achieve. They are beginning to now recycle and reuse other materials of their products. There is a long way to go for Primark still. However, they are cutting down on waste and having a more positive effect on the environment. I believe that they should look towards Blonde Gone Rogue. This is because they are a B Corp company who use all fair trade and recycled products. This is highly important when helping the environment ensuring that there is no waste created. Rights and conditions of employment. Rights and conditions of employment is something that Primark is lacking. This is because Factory workers are not earning enough money to be able to live and being forced to work extremely long hours in crammed and not fit for purpose factories. Primark should think about acting the same way as Jojo Maman Bebe is because they are a B Corp organisation who are working at giving the workers a higher pay and also giving them better working conditions. Use experts to assess realistic prices to make sure that cheap products are not being made to buy cutting corners and human environmental exploitation. Even though Primark has extremely cheap products, they are also cutting corners. This is because they are expect exploiting their factory workers by having them in poor countries and offering them below living wage <clears throat> and getting them to do excessive hours without extra pay. 
as well as this, the, the factories are a very rundown building and not fit for purpose. Alp kits, however, are a B Corp business who are very respectable and they are ensure that all the workplaces for their workers are suitable and that if anything does go wrong, they are fully responsible and will ensure to that they- To conclude, Primark are beginning to change and become a more ethical and sustainable business. However, they have a long way to go, but their plans for the future are looking positive and it should improve the way they are doing business in an ethical way.